All right, guys, so let's dive right into keywording. We're going to go through this entire catalog and keyword all of our images while we're explaining exactly how keywording works and uh, some of the cool keywording functions that are available in Lightroom. To start it off, I want to start first by uh, teaching you guys a shortcut key that we haven't gone over yet. On the right side on these panel lists, and this works both in the library and the develop module, you can open up or expand any of these panels by hitting control plus the number of the panel. And it actually starts with the quick develop panel. So the quick develop panel is number one, keywording number two, keyword list number three, metadata number four, and comments number five. So if I want to expand keywording, I'm going to hit control two, and then to expand the keyword list, I'll hit control three. And you can collapse them the same way by hitting control three and then control two again. All right, so let's start first by selecting the first image, and then I'm going to select the last one in this first 10. And we're going to add a keyword to this by hitting Control-K, which is the shortcut to activate the keyword field. And I'm going to type bag configurations here. All right, now I'm going to contract this stack by hitting S. And let's move to the next stack. I'm going to open it up. And uh, let's just apply keywords based on the covers. So this first cover, I believe, is called uh, Houndstooth. So I'm going to hit Control-K again and type Houndstooth. This second cover, we're going to expand this stack, and I'm going to select all six of these. And hit Control-K again. This one we'll call uh, Blue Circles. I don't know some of the names of these. And then I'm going to expand this next stack by hitting S, and I'm going to select, it looks like we actually have two cover groupings in this stack, but that's okay. We're just going to make it, we'll, we'll call it all the same name. So I'm going to call this, um, what is that, Damask. I don't even know how to spell that, so hopefully that's correct. If not, I'm sure I'll get comments on it. All right, we're going to expand this next one. Uh, that we're going to apply, let's go Control-K and do Black Leather. And then we're going to do this last group, expand it. I'm going to select all of them, and then we're going to hit Control-K again, and we'll type in the uh, model shoot. And then let's also select this first grouping of models from uh, these first stacks, right from here all the way up to the top where it has all the covers. We're going to add one more keyword here, which is solo shoot. So these are the solo, actually we call it solo models. So we've created a bunch of different keywords now, and, you can, and the first thing you've noticed basically is that uh, images can have multiple keywords. So if I look at this image right here, and I look over to the right side in this keywording panel, I see that houndstooth and solo model keywords are applied. If I want to add additional keywords, well, I can do that a number of ways. Let's say I wanted to add another keyword to these three right here. I can hit Control K. Um, and I can type in boy, or I can also click right here after solo models and type comma boy. It's going to do the same thing. So I'm going to do it that way for that one, and then for this one with uh, the girl model, I'm going to hit Control K and type girl. And you'll see that it's going to do the exact same thing. It adds girl and then puts a comma into that field. So we can modify these keywords by simply editing them right into this field. Whatever I change in this field, so if I, if I remove, say if I click here, and I remove solo models along with that comma, or if I just remove solo models, and I hit enter, it's going to take solo models off of these three images that I've selected. So if I want it back again, I need to add it again by typing it in. But there's also a few other ways that I can add keywords to these tags, uh, to these images. Now that I've already created a bunch of keywords, what happens is they get populated in this keyword suggestions menu right here. So if I wanted to, I can go down to this next grouping of girls, and I can select the three girls in this, in this set right here, and I can just go and click girl, and it'll automatically apply girl. If I want to also do the boys, I can select the boy in this one and hit boy. So we can use the keyword suggestion to quickly add in these keywords. Now yet another way you guys can add in keywords. I'm going to do the same thing for this next grouping here. Here is the next three in that next stack that we have. And down here on the keyword list, I can also click the check mark, uh, the checkbox right next to a keyword that I want to apply. If I click the checkbox, it automatically applies that and you can see it add to the keyword tag listing right here. Now if I do the same thing with the girls, it's going to do the exact same thing. Now if I click, you, you want to be careful to distinguish, if you click the left side, it's going to add or remove them from the keyword. So if they already have the keyword applied and you see that is checked right here, if I click the check mark, it's actually going to remove that keyword. Okay, so I'm going to add it back. If I click on the right side, it's going to filter by that keyword. So it's going to show me all the images that have that keyword applied. So I'm going to click that and you'll see all the girl images are applied.
So it's important to distinguish that on the right side, you're clicking to view all the images that have the, that keyword applied. On the left side, you're modifying which keywords are applied, either adding or removing it. So I'm going to go back to all of my photographs to click on the original folder location to see everything. Okay, now one last really cool way that I want to show you guys, actually there's a couple more ways to uh, apply keywords. One is via this keyword set, which we're going to get to in the next video. The next way is uh, another kind of really nifty feature, which is the Painter tool. And we went over this previously when we were discussing the interface and going over the details. But I'm going to select the Painter tool right now. And then what I'm going to do is choose what I want to paint. And I want to paint keywords. So I'm going to click Keywords. And then I can enter the keyword here. So I'm going to click the keyword Girl. And then hit Enter. And now I'm going to go through and paint every image that has girls in it. So the girl model I'm just going to apply. And I can click, and I can drag, or I can just click each one individually. And it's going to assign that tag to each one of those. Now I'm going to do the same thing with this with boy. So I'm going to change the boy. And then we're going to go over our other model, the boy model, for all these images. So if I click like painter style, I can actually click and drag. And it's going to assign that keyword to all three of these that I dragged over. So I'm going to keep assigning these. All right, I think we've covered all the boy images and the girl images. Yeah, we got 12 and 12. All right, so those are some of the cool ways that you guys can use to apply keywords. So we've gone over a bunch of ways that we can use to apply keywords. Let's go to the next video. We're going to discuss keyword sets, and then we'll move on to uh, syncing as well as organizing and stuff like that afterwards.